Hi guys, how are you? Good. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all are doing amazing. Good. We did it. So I have a table in front of me for once. Okay, so we are here to do a reading. I hope you all are doing amazing. So we're here to do a reading. This is going to be for my Scorpion Risings. I hope you all are doing amazing. I'm going to do it differently. So this is for my Scorpion Risings and Scorpion Moons. Um, so what I want to do, Spirit, is I want us to get a little indicator of what signs and or planets that my Scorpio Risings are going to be dealing with right now. For those that are new, welcome. Feel free to subscribe so you can get all the notifications via um, subscribing. Therefore, anytime that I upload a video, you will be able to access it. And as you can tell, I turned off comments. That's because we were getting a little, a little bit of some trolls, um, which is very ironic that we have trolls with so not that many subscribers, but it is what it is. Um, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like the video to show your support. This is a channel that does not require any money. That means all my time that I'm doing on readings right now and period on YouTube is for free. Um, and it is my way of showing spirit that I'm utilizing and giving my gift to others. I do not have any other websites and or online things right now that um, are ways that you can get a hold of me. So if anyone tries to reach out to you, letting you know that you can get a reading with me, that is a lie, that is a scam, um, ignore them, okay? So we're gonna be tapping into my Scorpio Risings. What signs and or planets are gonna be affecting my Scorpio Risings and Scorpio Moons right now? What signs or planets? There's gonna be a sudden halt. I don't know what that means. So my love, may you please, thank you. <laughs> That's why, Pluto. <laughs> okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Anything else you wanna tell me, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, what well, we're gonna be getting rid of. Okay, we're not getting rid of it. It's me, ooh, fascinating. Okay, so right off the bat, and then Cancer is on the bottom, but it was reversed, okay? Now what I wanna see, why couldn't you just make them come out then? We're gonna do one thing Spirit is asking me to do, which I'm gonna be a little, Frustrated if spirit decides not to bring it up. Okay. So what sign is it that you were trying to make me do this about? Sign is it? So no sign, just this. Okay. Okay. I don't know. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. So, Cancer or Leo could be significant to someone. Um, so what we're looking at is Mars right now, which is in retrograde. Um, that is all about expansion and creativity. Make sure that I'm not going to tell you anything further because I find it important for you guys to go do your own research. And then we have Pluto. It does look like Pluto is sideways. So Pluto is the one that is having judgment on it. And Mars is in reverse, which means someone could be um, kind of waiting for something that's not going to happen. Does that make sense? Scorpio risings and moons. So what we see right here with Mars is a man is just kind of sitting there, kind of dazing off in the stars. He's not really on Earth. Um, 
as you can see here with Pluto, he's looking down, which I always essentially say looking down on something, but same kind of thing. You either got someone sitting in the stars thinking maybe, um, I don't even know. I'm not even going to go there. Okay, okay. So tell me the heart chakra and, okay, that's not what I meant to say. But tell me what chakra and or stone that is influencing these planets. Let's start with Pluto, please. Pluto, please. Pluto, please. Someone's heart chakra could be blocked, which is makes complete sense if you're around toxic environments. Um, so that could be an indicator that you need to keep doing what you're doing, boo. Um, thank you. And then let's do Mars, please. Mars. Um, and you need to leave what no longer serves you. Okay, can we please do one more, Spirit? Sorry, I was looking at inventory. <laughs> multitasking. We are multitasking. Mars, please. Mars, please. Mars, please. Please and thank you. Like any day now. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so self-activation. And then we have... Um, kindred spirit. So with Mars in reverse, we had kindred spirit, and with Pluto, that was sideways. So in other words, Pluto is sideways. We have self. So but in other words, like I was saying in the very start of the read, for those that don't know what it looks like, there we go. Um, for anyone that's looking down on you, you just need to focus on yourself. Again, remember, we do have people in this world, um, We have people in this world that prefer to be with people that make them feel like they're a better person than who they are. So you need to make sure that if something's not working out for you, um, it's not supposed to. Um, sometimes that essentially what that can be or end up being is a person essentially that didn't, doesn't and didn't, I'm sorry, doesn't and didn't know um, how to be in a healthy, committed, um, situationship. I'm just going to say situationship because I'm pretty sure at the end of the day, it's going to be projecting in their family relationships, their friendship relationships, and their dating relationships. In other words, this is someone that chooses to be with people lower than them. Um, because those people do not They'll let them get away with anything. Um, they give them the validation to feed their ego so they feel better about who they truly are um, because they're not willing to actually look and do the work on the self-reflection and the home improvements on oneself to be able to actually do the work that you've been able to do. So Spirit's saying if you're running into this situation, you need to keep self actualizing self-associating yourself with things that serve your highest good and your purpose. It does not mean that you need to be aggressive, rude, or um, do anything. Quite frankly, all that means is you just need to accept the fact that the person chooses, chooses that over you, okay? And that is what it is. And if you keep pushing it, if you get it, it will backfire um, because that person's gonna need you to fulfill them the way the, I'm, I want to say bottom feeders is what I want to say and I stopped myself, but I'm just going to say it. the bottom feeders feed them um, because at the end of the day, anything that you do wrong, they're going to basically go back to what they know. So they're going to start punishing you. Um, and the way they justify it to themselves is by telling themselves that they're not good enough for a situation um, and or that you're better. It is a false illusion of mental illness, but we need to allow people to do what they're going to do because that's the divine's um, supposed to work on them and or the divine's supposed to get them away from you. Whatever is going to happen, they're going to do whether you're wanting it or not. Okay. Um, kindred spirits is reverse with Mars that was in reverse. So what that's saying is even if at one time you brought fulfillment to this individual, you unfortunately will probably be the only person in their life that they tried to be with in or around that could help them in some sort of positive way. The reality is, is through this time, they choose the victim side of mentality in life. And again, do not go and force a situationship 
that you do not have the right to force because what will happen is literally as soon as you drop them most likely they'll come back or if you choose not to do it you know what I mean they might eventually come back but realistically they're going to milk you dry because they already think you're better than them and then they'll go back into their own patterns and old patterns own patterns that they've self-created as well as old patterns and you you will often find this with people that always that will always if you've ever been in a relationship here's a huge red flag where you are they put you on a pedestal as if you're better than them um but realistically in relationships it's easy to be like but we're equals we're not and so you give and you give and you give and what they're essentially telling you is i don't want to change i like my dysfunction and fucked up Ness, that is what I know, that's what I've grown into, and that's who I am, and you make me feel bad about myself with just your presence, okay? So in order to be able to get rid of that um, negativity, um, you have to literally withdraw yourself from it, and be careful if you are a merciful person, because that will backfire, um, I promise you, it will. Okay, okay, so my Scorpio, Scorpions, why did I put this so far away, I know, okay, so, okay, okay, we just can't make up our mind today, um, here we go, here we go. I also wanna, never mind. Spirit's like, don't, okay. It's spirit saying that to protect you. Um, yeah, so we just have to listen to spirit. Again, sometimes spirit has a perfect way of delivering a message. Yeah, so this is out of heartbreak. So. What you're able and proving to yourself right now is the fact that you can do it. Um, you can do it by yourself. Um, at the end of the day, um, you can do it. Um, whether heartbreak or not, look at where you are, observe where you are, and take recognition for yourself and all the hard work that you've put in. Um, I know that this is something I, with my Scorpio moon, struggle with. Um, like, I very much struggle with this. It is something that it's amazing how much I struggle with it um, but it is something that I do I left a situation of which I worked at for a extremely long time and it was extremely comfortable from what I know because I am a creature I'm a Scorpio moon so Scorpio to Scorpio you understand how we could be fixed sometimes on what we know and there was a situation <laughs> where I ended up becoming my own self own business, um, entrepreneur. And often enough, which is now, of everything that I do, of all my little businesses, I do it myself. And it is very often that I don't give myself the credit of the fact that um, when you don't have spending money because you have your own business, anyone that has their own business I'm sure understands that, um, you don't, I'm sorry guys, my knockers are growing obsessively, but I've, yeah, my waistline's getting smaller again, which is nice. My arms too, thank gosh, but I'm like, my knockers are staying the same. So I'm a little like, I feel like big titty Annie or something. So, um, what we're really dealing with right now is I will not do that. Essentially a situation where You're really having to go within yourself and recognize 
you don't have the spending because you're putting money towards your business. So when you work for someone, and as I say, you become a slave for them, because essentially that's what you're doing, um, you're running shit for someone else when I believe that you should be running your own ship. Um, which I, I did at this time work for myself and work for someone. So I was working in two different states. I work for two different states. I, I'm just, I am who I am. I'm, I'm such a hard driven person. It's insane. Except for this year has been a really chill year for me. But often enough, it's like, am I successful? Oh, of course you are. I'm like, how do you not think that you are? You pay by yourself walking away from a position over $1,500 a month. Most people can't even pay that quite frankly. And that's just for rent by itself. You literally walked out of a situation, opened anew, and now you're supporting yourself and your business just because you don't have spending money because of the fact that, you know, you choose to invest in yourself instead of investing in 3D things. That does not mean that you are not prosperous. That does not mean that you are not driven. That does not mean that you are not doing well. That actually means that you're kicking ass and taking names. Um, to recognize yourself and the work you've been through is really important during the struggle. Because if you start to kind of get on that victim mentality of, oh, it was, should have, you're gonna be going on the same train that they go on. Um, the people that you're probably struggling with your life on understanding why they do what they do. Well, this is how those kind of things turn out to be what they are. And then it's easier for them just to be self-reliant on someone else so they don't ever have to take responsibility of themselves. But think of all the positive things that you get when you're able to do things on yourself, even if it's small, even if it ends up not being all that in a bag of Cheetos, at least you're able to sustain doing something for yourself that feeds your soul where you don't have, you have a choice of what energies you choose to deal with. Um, it also, in my case, protected me um, from things that I did not know. Yeah, exactly. It was the key in the reality to my soul, which is so funny. I have a key tattoo on my back. Um, sacred chakra, essentially. Um, skeleton tea is also, see, it's 3-3, so it's all about karma, basically. So this is all about the karma wheel. So... When people are not kindred spirits like you, um, and they're not allowing you to expand into the actual person you are, I'm hearing in, immoral, immoral. So maybe these people felt like had just different ways of beings. Um, you were blinded, essentially. Uh, they were blinded by your light, but you were blinded by their darkness, I guess, because you were too busy shining your light. You weren't paying attention to the shadows, which is perfect. That just means their vibrations will not and do not affect you in any sort of way. Um, but at the end of the day, do not have any ill will towards those people. Do not go maliciously at those people. Allow things to come the way they did. You know, I, you could always, I could go in and be vengeful just like them. But at the end of the day, I'm nothing like them. And that is why I left that situation. So putting things upon yourself, having trust in yourself, the divine will always support you at the end of the day. Does that mean you're going to get the bougiest of the bougiest? Absolutely not. You shouldn't run off the bat because if you get that, how do you think people turn out again the way they do where they're entitled and expectations and live certain lifestyles you get you get basically i get sick of them um but those people don't get sick of them they just need more and more and more and when they can't supply it for themselves that's when they start pulling people in to supply that for them so again remembering that divine timing is literally divine timing it's all about the purpose of your self growth. So as you grow within yourself, as well as your company and family and or relationship and or all aspects of life, we need to definitely remember this is part of our process that lays the foundation. So no matter what we decide to do with ourselves, we're gonna have a stable foundation. Now, whether people recognize you as having that stable foundation because of the work you went through, they will obviously never understand. How will they not understand? You have to go, as you know, you have to go through the process of actually doing the things that are not easy like they did. Therefore, if they've never done that process, they're never going to know the work that that it is. And for those that have gone and gone halfway with you and then decided to back out of it, that's because they realized that they they didn't want to do it. 
and they don't want to take responsibility for that. And that has nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with them. Okay. But you need to stay on your journey because there's nothing that's going to drop you faster than a bottom feeder. Now the difference is I will say, well, if you do go backwards, you're able to go forward faster and heal that most likely faster than them, at least the second time, because of the fact that you've been through the process, you know what to expect, and you already know what you're gonna have to do if it backfires, you know what I mean? Um, or you know what's gonna happen. I guess, see, that's when you foresee the future. <laughs> kind of concept so you're foreseeing the future you're foreseeing okay if I do decide to have mercy on this and do this because at the end of the day I'm gonna have to go through this transition with them or someone else the closure of their transition um, then again just remember use it as a way of growth do not use it as a way to allow it to control everything about you, especially your mood and your atmosphere. Okay. Okay. So now what do we have? We have 24 reverse and 32 reverse. So what I want you to do is go research 24. Okay. They're going to tell you an angel or a spirit number, spiritual meaning number. I'm not mocking it. I'm just saying everyone has so many interpretations. It's really hard to keep up with the way that every single person, um, categorizes things, but I want you to read what the number 24 means, or I want you to read if that's not a thing or do all 30. If you're someone like me, you're going to do all three. You're going to research two, four, and 24. Then the fact that it's reverse is spirit is letting you know, whatever that is that it says, if you start doing it because spirit doesn't think you're doing it, maybe you could be, I'm just saying I'm a Scorpio moon. So I literally can be so heavy on myself. This is why I cannot be with a heavy partner or I don't want to talk about heavinesses. Um, that I can literally forget what is not right in front of me. Um, that's why it's really important for me to push myself out of my ego and to allow support through people that are willing to help me. Um, because for me, I'm so self-reliant because I've gone through so many struggles where I've had to be that it is really hard for me and it totally is a pride thing with me to even ask for anything in return. But at the end of the day, I'm not a perfect human. Um, I've been treated in issues just like you that have been unfair. And that is the universe's way of reminding me that not only do I have help, um, that I do have people that want to help. And to remind myself of how many times that I've chose to help people, um, deserving or not, and it's kind of like the universe saying, we want, we want you, since you were able to give that gift, to allow people to give you that gift as well. Okay? Okay. Okay, my loves. So this is my grandmother deck. Um, I absolutely love this deck. I actually gifted this deck to someone and um, I kind of loved it so much that I literally waited. I think it was, oh, oh, interesting. Black and white, but things are black and white. So I'm here in black and white. So if you feel like there's a gray, there's not a gray. So what I want you to do is I want you to look up the number 33, spiritual number. Divine is saying you're doing that well, but you could be doing it obsessively a little bit, meaning a little over the top. So maybe just being consciously aware of that. And Spirit is saying the number 2, 4, 24. Also, one's going to 2 and 4. But really, focus on 24 reversed um, and see what that is and kind of work on balancing that and 33. Because again, having the two extremes. Oh my word, are you kidding me? Yeah, things are getting very confusing. We have two different complete, like we, okay. So for those that don't know what is happening right now, I went to go shuffle the cards and they literally now are like, I have some standing this way facing me, some not. So I'm just going to put these where they all are at least facing the same direction. <laughs> ah, that's the second time that's happened. So that means something. So trying to make something fit, maybe that just doesn't fit. Okay. 
or someone that doesn't want to fit. They just want to do what they're doing. Allow them to. Whether or not it's toxic or not, whether or not you had divine love or not and they want to recognize it, it doesn't matter. Okay? At the end of the day, um, you will trust. Just just trust me. That's all I'm going to say because I'm, I'm not bringing my personal life up on here anymore. So I'm not going to talk about it furthermore. Um, but trust me. Not only that, it comes in bigger and better, okay? And I'm not talking about bigger penises, okay? So for those that are thinking that, I mean, yeah, but different, okay, just think different things, okay? So just, just, I swear, okay? And divine will show you little ways, okay? So like if you're like, I'm never gonna find love again, uh, you're gonna... If you get asked out, even if it's not someone that you like, um, eventually it will be 